Burrhead sedge, Scirpus cubensis. Here's an example of a smaller leafy Scirpus species. Burrhead sedge spreads by small reddish runners or rhizomes and can cover small areas. It is common in freshwater marshes of north and central Florida. Burrhead sedge is quite different from southern bulrush and soft stem bulrush. This bulrush grows only one and a half to three feet tall. Its stems are sharply triangular and smooth. Burrhead sedge is very leafy, while other common Florida bulrushes have no leaves at all. Its leaves all grow from the base of the plant. They are narrow and ribbon-like about a quarter of an inch wide and three to four feet long. Many of the leaves are longer than the stem. Like all Scirpa species, the inflorescence is at the tip of the stem. A distinctive feature of this inflorescence are the long leaf-like bracts that spread around the base of the inflorescence. The inflorescence itself is umbel-like meaning that its stalks arise more or less from the same place. Each stalk is topped by a dense spherical head, about three quarters of an inch in diameter. These heads of burrhead sedge contain many spikelets. The reddish brown spikelets have scales that are spiral and overlapping. The fruit is an olive nutlet about one eighth inch long. Burrhead sedge can be confused with plants of the genus Cyperus. The best difference is that burrhead sedge has one to six dense burr-like cluster heads. Cyperus species do not have burr-like cluster heads. This bulrush has a sharply triangular stem. It has many long narrow leaves that arise from the base of the plant. Around the bottom of the umbel-like inflorescence are two to six very long leaf-like bracts. The inflorescence has dense burr-like heads. Mm -hmm.